They've already captured hearts and minds here, serenading the neighbourhood while in quarantine. That was after landing in Sydney from Suva. And the Fiji Silk Tails say they only have one goal in sight. That's my dream. Uh, I was hoping one day could uh, play for the NRL. They're here for seven months playing in the New South Wales Rugby League. It's the first time uh, they've been on a plane, let alone live in another country, so it's been a massive reality check, uh, but they, at the same time they're really excited about the experience. For 18-year-old Philomoni Temumanasua, it's the first time he's left his village he was raised in by his grandparents. This is my first time travelling, reaching another level. My grandparents, they were so proud of me. They've made huge sacrifices coming to Australia. For Tomasi Vakandranu, he's away from his one-month-old baby and wife. It does feel lonely at some times, but we got each other. We're blessed, you know, to have him over there. It's just a dream come true for the both of us. Life back in Fiji can be tough, and, but a lot of these boys have been blessed with, you know, with this athletic ability, and so they're here to showcase it. Fijian League veteran Petro Sivanasiva says the game changed his life and he wants to help others do the same. I think, you know, we're only scratching the surface in terms of developing the game of rugby league in Fiji. So it's great that for local players they get this opportunity to more or less put themselves in the shop front window to NRL clubs. The end goal is to set up a formal pathway to get more Fijians into the NRL. The Sydney Roosters have been flagged as the feeder team to the Silk Tails and have already signed 19-year-old prodigy Bawate Kuruavalu. For the rest, they've got a whole season to do just that. That would be a dream come true, yeah, just to make it to the NRL. I just love rugby league. Chloe Hart, ABC News.